There are so many cool tools out there for online tutoring, and that is why each Tuesday I choose a different tool and feature it. And this week, we're taking a look at the document camera. Now, a document camera can be used to make learning more hands-on, to use resources without having to upload them, or to show a much more natural way of writing. However you choose to use it, you are going to be blown away. And today, I have Atto Rana, an online math tutor, showing how to use this tool with his dyscalculia students to help represent some difficult concepts. You will be blown away. But even better than that, you're going to be inspired to think of ways that you could use this tool with your own online tutoring business. I'll switch to this other one. You can probably see it there. I do. Yeah. So is that your document yeah. camera? Yeah, so I still use that for some students who need to, um, yeah, who, who actually just just need to like do stuff uh, with their hands. So I've got these tiles. These are the same things as I was using on my whiteboard. These are algebra tiles. That represents x square. That green one represents one times x. Um, and then you've got these very small. I'm just getting that out. These very small ones that represent X. So this this right now, actually, got both sides to it. So this could be X square plus one X. And I could do and have X square plus two X plus one. So the green one represents one X. 1x and that the yellow one is 1 and that's x square. So what this represents right now is a length of x plus 1 that way and a length of x plus 1 that way and if you add well, there's x plus 1 times x plus 1 ends up giving you x square plus 2x plus 1 isn't this tool cool? If you've liked this video so far, hit like, subscribe, and the little bell so that you can be notified when more awesome videos like this come out. Now, Atal is going to be sharing how he continues to use this lesson on BitPaper. Now, to learn more about BitPaper, there's a link in the description where I personally interviewed the creators of this amazing tool. I used a blue tile here, X square, then I had a green one and another green one. And let's recreate that here. So I've got a blue tile, uh, then I build a, oops, there's a green one on it, I'll just do roughly, uh, another green one, that's 1x, and then the yellow one. Okay, so this length represents, this, this is x, that's x. So x times x is x square. Uh, length of one. That length is also one. That's x square, and that's x as well. So one times x, one x, one times x, one x, one. So really, if you put the tiles together, you end up x plus 1 times x plus 1 is a bigger square. That's x squared plus 2x plus 1. What does that actually mean in this type of multiplication that we are all familiar with? x squared plus 1x plus 1x plus 2. So that's x squared plus 2x plus, did I say 2? I meant 1. 1 times 1 is 1. Plus one. So this thing, that visual thing, and these algebra tiles, they all tell the same story. Mm -hmm. Just three different ways. And and I'll use that for different students depending on what they want. If I think they're good with the abstract stuff, I'm just gonna jump straight into this this technique. Yeah. I, now you work with kids with dyscalculia a lot too. So Ed, do you find that they really need like the visual with the with the tiles and that kind of thing more so? Yeah, dyscalculia is um, yeah, it's a bit like math dyslexia. So they 
mostly they have problems with um, arithmetic, actually, even number bonds. Uh, so for them, what we do when we develop actually from you know, babies into young adults is we cognize these things. We cognize the fact that uh, you know we can put two things together and that's uh, we give it symbols. We give it the symbol two. And in, in, in Hindi, with mother language, you'll give it a different symbol depending on the language. And then we'll say something like, <coughs> three plus two is, is three different things, which has been given language called three, two has been given language two. Putting them together is a syntax three add to five. And dyscalculia students will struggle with that. So what I do is try and decouple them from uh, the language syntax and uh, so all that symbol stuff, that some of those symbols can be quite intimidating to them. So um, so with them, I'll just use um, these manipulatives more and more. Manipulatives means hands-on things. And an example of these manipulatives are actually quiz, quiz and aerobs, which I have um, a whole bunch of here. So I'll put them, I'll put them there so you can probably see them clunking. Uh, so I'll put that on my document cameras. Okay, so yeah, these are manipulatives basically. So these are different colored rods. So I'll get them to, this is size 10 basically. So you, you can arrange them in a staircase. Um, that's size 10, that's three, that's four. Uh, I'm just gonna do a quick staircase. So they can, is that one, two, three. So, um, yeah, there's a whole box of them here. Um, so yeah, you know, I'll just get them to to put these together in different sizes. You know, I can put like ten is the same as seven and two, and you know that that has to take as long as it has to take before it makes sense to them. Um, I'll also use. I'll also actually use just one penny coins where, with the, the ones who are really, really needed. So, you know, we'll, we'll work with dice patterns um, and coins, etc. So, Wasn't that awesome? Now, I've already started brainstorming ways I could use this with reading. I could share a book on my shelf and have kids read it or make words with tiles that I have. I mean, there are so many awesome possibilities. What are some of the things that you have thought about that you could use this tool for? Comment below. I love tutoring online. And what some people don't know about me is that I tutor math as well. Now I've taken the same principles that I have developed with reading tutoring and I have come up with a math interventionist program. And I'm gonna be doing a free training called Math Tutoring That Counts and Gets Results for Kids in Grades K through eight. And you're gonna learn how to find and close the gaps and make learning math more hands-on. Now, if this is something that interests you, then click on the link in the description. This training will make you more valuable as an online math tutor and enable you to charge more per hour for your services. My name is Joanne Kaminsky, the online tutor business coach, helping you get found, hired, and referred. Till next time.